guys, it's Anzi and today I'm going to be doing a baking video. I'm a little bit run down today because I had to take the dog a walk. It's cold, I've got a cold, so if my nose looks a little bit red that's why. We're going to be making Christmas fairy cakes. You're going to need 110 grams of butter, room temperature, 110 grams of sugar, caster sugar, but I don't have any caster sugar so I'm going to be using brown sugar. It probably won't be as airy if you don't use caster sugar but we shall find out today because we're using something that isn't caster sugar then you're also going to want two eggs one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring or vanilla extract 110 grams of self-raising flour and one to two tablespoons of milk and for the icing you're going to want 300 grams of icing sugar but i don't have 300 grams of icing sugar so kind of you know, see how much we have and then go from there. You're going to want um, two to three tablespoons of water, two to three tablespoons of food colouring. I have green and red since it's Christmas and hundreds and thousands. And for the equipment, you're going to want 24 little fairy cake cups. These are actually um, muffin, uh, either muffin or cupcake cases because we don't have enough fairy cake cases. We're also going to want a big mixing bowl and two 12, um, 12, what's it called, thingy bobs. That's very helpful. And two, I don't know, those. You're going to want one of these. You're going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees or gas four. So. That. On my oven, if you can see, there's a little orange dot there. When that orange dot goes, that means that it's ready for things to go in. I don't know whether it has that on all ovens, but yeah. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to line the tin with the cases, which I've done earlier. They are green and red for Christmas. Um, so yeah. Now you're going to want to cream the butter and the sugar together until it's pale. Um, orange light over there still aren't, so I'm going to get the butter and put it into the bowl with the sugar. If it stays in like that, give it a bit of a whack off the side or you can get your spoon again and scrape the rest in. Okay, so now you're going to get your whatever this is called, I can't remember, I'm sorry. I can't even remember which ones they go in. to mix them around until it looks kind of like that, like a, a creamy texture kind of. So next you're going to beat in the eggs, but before we do that, we need to mix them around in a bowl. Once you've done that, you need to wash your hands straight away because raw egg yolk is poisonous, I think, probably. So now you have your eggs in here, you can see your yolk and your whites, so you just want to um, Whisk it round with a fork to make sure it's all nice and um, mixed. I'm really bad at describing, I'm so sorry. This is. I'll get it right the more I do them, I guess. To add this in a little bit at a time while whisking. Now you can't see my face, but you can see ish what I'm doing. As, long, as well as that, you also want to put in your vanilla extract. So you want a teaspoon of that. I can actually open it. Okay, I've got it. I'm guessing this is new. So you want to just get a teaspoon of it and pop it in. Now you're going to fold in the flour. Um, so you want to add a little bit of time. Hello. I can't remember how to fold. Thank you. Love you. Bye. 
Okay, it's so I'm going to use a wooden spoon and I've added a little bit of flour in, you can't see it very well, and to fold it you're going to just do a figure of eight. So once you've done that, okay, I'll come down here. So once you've done that, you want to add in your milk, so it's at a soft dropping consistency. You're going to get your tablespoon and you're going to put one to two, one to two drops of milk in, or two as well. It is at a soft dropping consistency, like this, you're going to get two spoons, you're going to take out your wooden spoon and you'll have a bit left on the wooden spoon. You're going to half fill the cupcake cases, the fairy cake cases even, um, so, that, so it gives them enough rise in the oven. So you're going to get it and scoop it in like that and then like, yeah. Okay, so now you've put all of the mixture into the cupcake cake, uh, the, the fairy cake cases, you can now put them in the oven. The oven's not ready yet, so. Okay, so now the oven light has gone off, um, you're going to get your cakes and put them in the oven. You'll bake them um, for eight to 10 minutes until they're golden brown. While you're waiting for your cakes to finish baking, it might be good if you wash up the bowls and everything like that. Okay, so the oven's just gone off, so that means they're ready. You want to get your oven gloves. I admit these didn't go as well as I'd hoped them to be. But that's okay. So you're going to switch off your oven now because you don't need any more. While you're waiting for these cupcakes to cool down, let's make our icing sugar. So to make your icing sugar, you want to get a bowl. Because I'm using two colours, I'm going to get two bowls. I only have um, like 30 grams of icing sugar, so that is way too little. I'm going to go to the shop and buy some more. Back in a bit. Okay, so I've been down to the shop and I've got the icing sugar. Can I just say, how cute is this little packet? I can't believe it. It's now starting to go dark. I put the lights on and also the washing's on. And I've measured 300 grams out. So let's carry on from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sieve it um, into each of these little ones. I'm going to put 150 um, grams of ice sugar in each one. Um, so in that way, I can, when I can actually reach it, I can put one um, green food colouring in and one red food colouring in. So, they look really Christmassy. So yeah. Right, I'm going to just save a little bit at a time. going to get your food colouring, so enough of two bowls full of icing sugar. I'm going to get my red icing sugar and my red icing sugar, red food colouring and green food colouring. And on the side, this is by saying she got it, on the side it has these helpful little things of like wheat. If you want it wheat, put this much in. If you want it strong, put this much in. Which I think is quite helpful. It might help if I get a bigger bowl actually. I've now put, taken it out of those two bowls and put it in. These two bowls which are bigger and if it, oh, there you go, you can see the line there. Whereas before it was up to like here, now it's up to here. So next 
thing you want to do is you're going to get two to three tablespoons of water. In this will be my red one, I think. So I'm now going to add in five milliliters of red food coloring. to keep stirring both of them because otherwise they'll solidify before you've even done anything with them and you don't want that to happen. So now I'm going to get the green food colouring very small and one looks a little bit like a biscuit um, so that's literally how thin it is. I think I shall be eating that one, not giving it to my family. I have chosen to. Um, if they start solidifying, by the way, just before you want, before you finish doing stuff, put a little bit, but only a little, like a really tinsy bit of water in. Um, to help them stay okay now what I'm, I'm going to do the red first because I mixed the red first but I'm going to keep mixing the green as I'm doing it I'm going to put the cupcakes on this little wrap which I got from the um, oven all of my red icing. Now to do the green ones. Okay guys, thank you for watching. That is my fairy cakes make, making Christmas fairy cakes video. Comment down below whether you like these baking videos or not, so I'll know when to do more or less in the future. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!